Well, winter storm watch is in effect for all of southern Wisconsin as we track our next winter storm. But take a look just to our north and west. We have winter storm warnings uh, for Eau Claire, blizzard warnings even in parts of Minnesota. The Twin Cities are gearing up for close to two feet of snow. This is a big winter system. Uh, for us, though, we're going to be right on the cusp of the freezing line, which means a lot of us are going to see some snow, but areas to the south going to see a little bit more ice still going to create some hazards there. Now, as we take a look at our clouds and radar, you can see the beginning of this system is forming a little bit of that snow falling in southern Minnesota right now. It's on the way. We're calm right now. It's a little bit cooler here uh, late this morning and we're going to stay cool. Uh, but again, we're going to be right around that freezing mark for some of us. So we're dealing with a few different types of precipitation here. So here's what we're watching. Here's your future track. We're going we're to be dry through the rest of the day, but as we head towards the afternoon and in really closer to sunset, here comes the first wave of this system and it's going to be mostly if not completely light snow, a little bit of heavier snow closer to across Camp Douglas uh, areas uh, to the north. They're closer to central Wisconsin. That's something that we'll see through the overnight hours. A lot of us waking up to maybe a dusting an inch or so on the ground into tomorrow morning, maybe some higher totals two or three inches closer uh, to the north there. Then actually we're going to briefly dry out. This is this this the first wave of this system. We're going to briefly dry out into Wednesday morning, but as we head towards lunchtime, here's where uh, the big the big wave of this system comes into play. So this will be about lunchtime or so into Wednesday, and you'll notice all of this pink is sleet, even freezing rain, and you can even see rain closer to the state uh, line there, the Wisconsin Illinois state line. I'm really certain that's going to be freezing rain where it freezes onto the surface. That is going to create some impacts. It's going to uh, be very icy there. But we're going to see this and you can also just see uh, look at that. I mean, snow up north. I think Camp Douglas, Montello, even Baraboo really going to see just snow from this system. That's going to lead to some higher totals. But the rest of us, Madison, mostly sleet and ice is going to be the impact there. So this is I think Wednesday evening, the afternoon and evening commute likely going to be the worst of the impacts there. Then as we go into Thursday morning, this system wants to uh, fall apart and it's going to. I do still expect impacts into Thursday morning's commute because this system is still going to be on top of us there. Uh, we'll finally dry out from this system by about Thursday afternoon. Your winter storm timeline, we're going to see light snow to our north. That's the first wave of the system tonight. Then we stay dry into tomorrow morning, but then here comes our next part of this system. We're also going to see wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour with this ice mix with this heavier snow, so impacts are expected. We're also going to have to watch potentially for those spotty uh, power outages as well with this system. So here's what we're tracking areas to our north. Uh, Juno Adams County up towards Montello La Crosse. You're just going to be seeing snow that's going to pile up six plus inches of that snow is expected for those areas. Also, just take a look at the gradients here. Things are things could most definitely shift north or south, so stay with us as we fine tune this forecast. But this is what we have so far. Uh, between Madison and Baraboo, snow and sleet, three to six inches we might be uh, seeing through Thursday there. Mainly sleet and some ice for Madison, a little bit of snow there as well. It's just going to be messy either way and then uh, freezing rain closer to the state line there. But a quarter of an inch of ice that is going to uh, create some issues there. So let's take a look at your extended forecast after this system. It's going to be cooler for Friday. A tiny little uh, wintry mix wants to fall Friday night into Saturday, but then the weekend looks very nice there. We'll attract another chance for a wintry mix by early next week. But of course, we're going to be paying attention to our next winter system. It's just very interesting, though. Uh, you know, this would be a major snowstorm if yeah. it was just snow. I mean, just snow. Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul expecting almost two feet of snow. And the thing is, we don't see ice that often, or at least this year anyway. So mm -hmm. something to watch out for. Yeah. Okay, Alexis Clemens, thank you.